Hi guys. Well, it has finally gotten back to uh, springtime here in the end times in the great state of Texas. Where I guess it's, uh, it's warmer in Ithaca, New York today than in, uh, than in Austin, Texas. And next week will be about the same. But uh, anyway, it is Wednesday, August 5th. 2023 and I don't know where this rambling rant is getting ready to go. I'm thinking about writing another essay for uh, for medium.com and deciding whether this is an appropriate subject. So I'm just kind of trying to organize my thoughts. So if you want to sit here and uh, see how a medium.com writer organizes his thoughts, uh, you can sit here and listen. So anyway, last night I was uh, enjoying an end times margarita with one of my uh, dear sweet friends here uh, in, the Texas, in Texas, and an otherwise pleasant conversation, I don't know how this happened, just out of nowhere, suddenly uh, devolved, I guess, I don't know if that's the word, where she just mentioned, I can't remember what set this off, but she made a comment about how I am so well known, you know, in the, at least down here in, you know, in the Texas community of, uh, of flesh and blood friends, that I am well known as being an asshole. That I have a reputation for whatever reason of being an asshole. <laughs> and, uh, you know, she was mainly detailing how the majority of her best friends can't stand me. Uh, so I guess she's kind of wondering, what do all of my friends see in you, Hambone, that I don't see? Uh, so anyway, I was uh, uh, obviously been thinking about what she said about my reputation of being an asshole but also my reputation of being a nice guy. And I guess it's coming, is there such thing as being a, a nice guy asshole? And I guess there is, because that is what I am. I, I, I consider myself to be, these are not necessarily mutually exclusive terms being a um, being both a nice guy and an asshole. Alright, and I can already see that I am going to need to make a uh, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna need to make a uh, what do they call it? A disclaimer it's not disclaimer an amplification and clarification that I have made here before. So before I get into this, we need a couple of terms uh, defined. And, and first, as I've had this rant before, and I'll have to, this is the part uh, about the medium.com article, not sure whether I need to get into this, and that is the difference uh, between an asshole and a bitch. Okay, I use the term asshole and bitch equally depending on whether I'm talking about a man or a woman. An asshole is a male bitch. A bitch is a male is a female asshole. Something about calling a woman an asshole. It just it's, so anyway. I use this so when I say asshole. I'm talking about assholes and bitches. 
Okay, and then of course there's different degrees. And so when I'm talking about a fucking asshole, I'm talking about a fucking bitch. And then you get to the big one, to the big C word line. When I am talking about just an absolutely insufferable, total fucking asshole, I'm talking about a cunt. All right? A totally insufferable uh, fucking asshole is a male cunt. A cunt is a female, totally insufferable fucking asshole. It's just a lot easier. It takes a lot less syllables or a lot less letters to spell out cunt than it does. Uh, like, what is it? There's just not, we need a four letter word for male cunts. But anyway, I'm mainly here. Uh, you, you, you understand there's different levels of assholes, so we're just going to keep it to just, you, you know, guys, just your standard breed asshole. Just, just a fucking, you no, know, see, not just a, an asshole. Just, just your basic run-of-the-mill asshole slash bitch. Okay? And, and, and also, I need to go on a little bit of a side journey here, and that's about this overused term, narcissist. When did it, when did the word narcissist come in? In the past two or three years, have you noticed, like me, that this term, narcissist, has just ended up replacing the good old-fashioned term asshole. When did assholes become narcissist? You know, basically, I guess, the especially with doomers, a, a, I guess a narcissist is anyone who firmly holds an unpopular belief such as humans need to go extinct. The vast majority of people, if you tell them humans need to go extinct, and that you hear someone say, I wish everybody on this planet would go to sleep tonight and never wake up again, that somehow stating that opinion makes you a narcissist, you know, on that, on that soft white underbelly uh, an interview, probably hundreds of people listening to that interview, my interview on soft white underbelly called me a narcissist. My guess is hundreds literally hundreds of people calling me a narcissist, but hardly anybody called me an asshole. It's just weird. So, I mean, I don't know what this is, that this confusion, can we just drop this fucking overused cliche word uh, about being, uh, calling your garden variety an asshole a, a, a narcissist? Now, do understand that virtually 100% uh, of narcissists are assholes. It's hard to be a true narcissist without being an asshole. And we all know down here in the Doomosphere uh, who we can use as the prime example of that. Uh, however, all assholes are not narcissist. Ass, there, 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 there's all sorts of flavors of asshole. I am just a, your, your general run-of-the-mill asshole. I've never denied uh, being uh, an, a, an asshole. Uh, I was I was an asshole. Good Lord, I, I, was, I was an asshole in kindergarten. Uh, so anyway, 
just wanted to uh, a, a couple of amplifications and clarifications. So now let's get into one of these. What are what do they call these? These thought experiments uh, where you uh, you know imagine doing. So here is the thought experiment I came up with when I was tossing and turning in bed at four o'clock in the morning. So here's what I want you to do in your head, although I really would like to you to do this on paper, and I need to do this on paper myself. So what you need to do, well, pick out your top 10 friends, people you consider your friends, assuming you have, and assuming you're not such a fucking asshole uh, that you have 10 friends. So take 10 of your, who you consider your 10 best friends, <clears throat> and here's what I want you to do. I, I want you to put their name, and under their name, A, B, C, D, A, put uh, the word, you know, all right, so you have their name, and this person is the choice A, an asshole, well, you know, asshole slight, slash bitch, uh, so either your friend, you can, and, and go on your very first gut instinct, uh, you see your friend's name, and it's, you, you have to go with your gut instinct, is your friend a, an asshole, is your friend B, a nice guy, or of course, a nice woman, C, neither of the above, you know, just a run-of-the-mill person, not an asshole or not a, you know, a particularly, you know, not Mother Teresa, you know, not Donald Trump, but not uh, Mother Teresa, you know, just your average run-of-the-mill person, or D is the option, my friend is both an asshole and a nice guy. Uh, so I want you to do this, and then I want you to flip that and try to get in your friend's mind, uh, put the same choices if your friend were doing this about you, and they wrote your name down, so in my case, Hambone Littletail, A, is an asshole, B is a real, I'm going to say a really nice guy. C, neither an asshole nor a nice guy. Or D, both an asshole and a nice guy. Uh, I am going to guess that I would probably have more than the, av quote, average person, whatever that means, I would have fewer people uh, selecting option C that I am not in one camp or the other. Uh, either, e either my friends understand I'm an asshole uh, and they understand I'm a nice guy. So I think that I would probably, and maybe I'm deluding myself, more than the quote average person, I would have my friends choose item D, that I am a, na a nice guy asshole, that generally speaking, you know, this ham bone dude, he, he, he's an asshole. And, and, and probably a, a few of my uh, friends would say he's a fucking asshole. Uh, now, I don't know if anybody, if you, can you still be friends with a cunt, you, you know, with a male or a male or female version of cunt? I don't know, uh, but I probably have a couple of friends who even will go that ham bone is a nice guy fucking asshole. Uh, and, and so I'm doing this, so I, I'm, I, I'm going through this with, you, you know, thinking about my own friends 
and I'm surprised uh, how many people in my own life, uh, you know, with my own friends, do I consider nice guy assholes or or or, or nice girl bitches, uh, you know, as they as the case may be, and, and I'm surprised at how many of my friends uh, I put in both categories. So then I understand, so I'm, so I'm breaking this down, and if you're anything like me, I don't know, do you have, so do you have some of, the, there, there's two groups of nice guy assholes. There's the, the, the there's the type of guy or or or, or woman you, you know who generally is perceived to be you know like in the in, in the general wider social group or tribe or or whatever words you want to use for it they're generally perceived to be a nice guy but to you personally they're an asshole. So, you, you, you kind of befriended this person because they seem to you, you know, everyone spoke well of them, and you see them out there uh, interacting and relating with other people, with your other friends, and they seem to treat everybody else uh, like they're a really nice guy or, or girl that they are, but they, but then in your when it's pretty much, you know, when it's one-on-one, -on -one, you know what I'm saying, they go from being this nice person, if you're in a social, uh, inter you know, with other people, they're a nice, but when it's with you, they turn into an asshole. And then the flip side of that, and this is what I, I, I think I have more of in my own life for, for you know, hell, I married one of these people. And, and that this is people who are generally perceived in your social group or your tribe or whatever uh, to be an asshole or a bitch. Is there like, you know, whenever this person's name is like, like Jesus, uh, that person's an asshole, Jesus, that person's a bitch. However, when they are dealing with you one-on-one, -on -one, they're the nicest guy, the nicest girl in the world. That, that it's like your one-on-one -on -one intersection, you know, interactions, they don't bring out the asshole bitch part. But then, uh, they, they get out there in general society and, and you go like, my God, uh, where did this asshole uh, come from out of this nice guy? Uh, so uh, I probably have more friends who are assholes and bitches, but to me, are, are, are perfectly fine. And, uh, you know, this is kind of like... Uh, what I was talking to my friend about, we got into the, 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 this whole thing, you know, trying to analyze uh, why I am perceived as an, as an asshole in, in our social group um, by people who like me and, uh, you know, and particularly in her friend's cases who, who can't stand me. You know, one of the, the things we got in was not having a dog in this fight. I think Vegematic might have been commenting uh, about this on a uh, on one of his recent rants that I am not guilty of in, in the vast majority of cases if it doesn't concern me if two of my friends get into at each other and they try to drag me into it, okay, I just tell both of them, dude, I don't have a dog in your fight. I don't have a dog in the fight. This is your dog fight. It has nothing to do with me. So I'm pretty good ab about, uh, about staying out of other people's 
fights until someone attacks me, a, a someone I considered a friend attacks me personally and I become a dog in the fight, then this is when it gets ugly. And uh, so this is what my friend was, let me, I, I need to check my notes real quick. I want to stay somewhat on line, uh, in line. Okay, got that, got that, got that, got that. Okay. Uh, so we're going to have a, 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 a couple of more things to talk about. Then we're going to close with my favorite email I've ever received. So anyway, what my friend, uh, apparently when, you know, I was trying to figure out how I am perceived in, in this little uh, social group that I've been involved with, not that much in the past 10 years, but you know, for the past 24 years that I've been involved with, with this group of friends, and she was talking about my reputation for my viciousness. That, uh, you know, when somebody throws a punch at me, comes out of nowhere, and, and, and fucks me over, that I have a reputation for coming back with the second punch. And so she did have to give me, I think, a little bit of latitude that I am usually not the person who starts the dog fight, but I am the person who ends the dog fight. Okay? That, that if anybody, I don't give a fuck who you are, and of course everything I'm talking about here, uh, you, you know, in real, my real life friends, goes double for my little imaginary friends uh, on, on YouTube. You, you know, the, these little blips on a computer screen. I know that I have the same reputation down here in the Doomosphere. Uh, that I do in real life, probably even more amplified, uh, that I have the reputation of being the bad boy in, in, in the Doomosphere. Uh, so I know everything that I'm talking about in, quote, real life, because it's just so much easier to, you know, to be an asshole. Uh, when you're when you're a little blip on a computer screen. So anyway, uh, make, make sure I that I do understand that. Uh, so, and I was telling her, you, you know, I really make no apology for this. That I appreciate. Uh, I, I really have a lot more respect, both for myself. Uh, and for being clear, being absolutely clear in my communication to some fucker, uh, some asshole or some bitch who comes at me with whatever uh, fucking toxic shit uh, they're dumping on me. And, uh, and, and I know... I never want to see this fucking person again. The, that the friendship is over, uh, I have no problem. Okay? No problem. On, on any fucking level, uh, making sure there is no miscommunication between the two of us, I never want to fucking speak to you again. I don't want to see your fucking face in my face as long as as long as long both of us shall live. Uh, I, I don't want to hear your fucking voice. I don't want to see you from across the fucking room. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking done with you, you fucking asshole, you fucking bitch. 
what's the problem with a little bit of clear communication? I, I, I went to college for five fucking years to get a degree in communication. Uh, you know, it's, uh, I, I've got a hell of a lot more respect uh, for somebody, uh, you know, telling me uh, it, to my face, uh, preferably to my face or even uh, my email or whatever, Hambone, go fuck yourself. I'm fucking done with you. I'm, I'm getting nothing out of this friendship. I want this friendship to be over. Go fuck yourself. And the fucking horse you rode in on. I, I have a lot more respect for someone uh, ha having the fucking balls, including women, just to put it out there. Get the, any confusion. So I don't have to go, uh, uh, go through life with some fucking delusion that this person is a fucking friend of mine. What a big fucking loss. Uh, let, let's, put, let's make it clear. Uh, I have a hell of a lot more respect for that person than I do these little chicken shit, spineless little fucks that ghost you. That, you, you, you know, that you're uh, just going along through life uh, thinking uh, that, that you have somebody in your life uh, that you consider to be a friend and you just assume they consider you to be their friend and they just disappear out of your life with no fucking explanation of why they're gone. They just, one day you're giving them a hug and, and, and having a margarita with them. Uh, the next day they are gone from your life with no explanation. Uh, the, the, these spineless little fucking chicken shits. They're too fucking chicken shit spineless to come up and say, fuck you. This is the reason you have crossed a fucking line with me, Hambone. Because I, I probably, you know, cross these lines uh, with my friends, both in real life uh, and certainly uh, down here uh, in the Doomosphere, that I make, uh, that I say something in one of my rants. I've crossed some fucking line with these people that take it all huffy and, and take everything fucking personal and they just fucking disappear and they fucking ghost me and, and, and I spend the rest of my fucking life going, what the fuck uh, happened to that person? So please... Anybody listening to this, because I know there's some of you out there. I know goddamn well right now that there's people who are in the process of ghosting me. I know this. I'm 100% certain. So if anybody out there who is listening to this uh, and, and you still suspect that I am under the delusion that we are still friends. I want you to do me a big favor, and it would probably help other people here in the Doomosphere if you're one of those people who, who wants to tell me to go fuck myself with or without an explanation. Can you please just do me a favor and uh, before I get back to New York, because for all I know, this could even include some of these real life people. I mean, I don't know. So if you are, uh, if you have been ghosting me and uh, just want me to go away, here's what you do is, I don't give a fuck if you leave a public comment or send me a, an email to Humpty Dumpty Tribe at gmail.com and say, Hambone, go fuck yourself. The friendship is over. You're a fucking asshole. 
Uh, and whether or not on any level you're a nice guy, I don't give a fuck anymore. I want you to go fuck yourself. Get the fuck out of my life. Do not ever fucking contact me again. Don't call me when you get up north uh, to get together, uh, whatever. I don't want to ever see you on my fucking property again, uh, whatever. Just, 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 just have some fucking common decency and, and tell me to go fuck myself. I, I, I would greatly appreciate it. I would do you the same favor. Okay? I promise you, I would do you the same favor. Anybody listening to this who's ghosting me, uh, I would do you the same favor. And I'm just asking that of you. And uh, so I, I, I just have no respect uh, for these little chicken shit people ghosting. Now, of course, I am guilty of it myself. I, I'm not going to sit here. There is one particular friendship uh, where this friend of mine, this mask Nazi, vaccine Nazi, crossed a line with me uh, a year ago where... Uh, she just, I, 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 I mean, the level of, uh, what, what, uh, of cluelessness about, uh, uh, over this corona panic bullshit. Done with it. I just fucking ghosted her. Uh, you know, I'm being ghosted by one of my own brothers. I think it's over the corona panic. You know, one of my, one of my own brothers uh, just just uh, ghosted me out of his life a couple of years ago. I, I'm just assuming it, it was over Corona panic. I don't know. Uh, I have no idea uh, what else it could be. Why my own brother uh, is no longer a, wants nothing to do with me ever again in his life. And then, of course, my other brother. Uh, had no problem telling me to go fuck myself. Back in uh, 1992, uh, he made it clear that he was done with me. He wrote me out of his $100,000 uh, life insurance. I was the beneficiary of his life insurance policy. He told me in 1992, uh, in no uncertain circumstances or language, to go fuck myself. He was done with me. Uh, uh, we are no longer brothers. Uh, get the fuck out of my life. Never show up here again. And I actually appreciate his honesty more than I do my own brother for fucking ghosting me. So anyway, then of course, we got into the discussion about holding a grudge that I, uh, that I am guilty of holding grudges. I need to see if I'm talking to myself. Nope, but the the uh, the light is going. Uh, and I, I, I guess maybe I misunderstood the definition of holding a grudge. Uh, I, I mean, I honestly, all of these people that I've written out of my life or they've written me out that we've written out of each other's lives, I thought holding a grudge meant wishing bad things to happen to them. Okay, with all of this the, the, this carnage, this trail of carnage and burned bridges and broken friendships, I have left uh, in a bloody string behind me, both in real life and and on the and, and on uh, down here in the Dumasphere. Uh, I honestly don't wish these people anything bad. I, I I wish them nothing but peace and love. Go on, just go about your life. I hope you would lead a great life. Just leave me out of your fucking life. I thought that was the definition of, of holding a grudge. Uh, but apparently, uh, according to my friend's definition, 
is, I, 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 I guess, not wanting to, quote, bury the hatchet or whatever. Uh, so with the definite...